Greenock Princess Pier using a parallel route to the Gurug Line, but running via Paisley Canal and Kilmacombe. Services on the steeply graded route out of Greenock declined after nationalisation, but special workings continued to operate until the line was cut back to Kilmacombe in September 1966. A solitary gas lamp overlooks the former track bed and the remnants of Kilmacombe Station, which were incorporated into a public house in 1993, the first public house in a village that had been dry for over 70 years. Closed in 1997, the new building's fate has mirrored that of the station it replaced. Monday, the 10th of January, 1983, and crowds fill Kilmacombe's platform on the final day of service as they await the last daylight departure to Glasgow, 17 miles to the east. The route had already been singled, and the remaining track was quickly lifted after closure and later converted into a cycleway. Bridge of Weir was the next station on the route to Glasgow, but in common with the third and last station on the branch, Houston and Cross Lee, few people turned out to watch the trains passing. It's hard to grasp that in 1983, with road congestion growing, a passenger branch line only a few miles from one of Britain's largest cities could be allowed to close. Closure also befell Paisley Canal Station on the same day. The fine stone building subsequently converted into a restaurant. Realisation of the error in closing the route through Canal Station came several years later, when the line was expensively reopened to within yards of Canal Station. Further extensions were made impossible, as the track bed was now occupied by housing. The closure notice on Canal Station presents a grim sight, with a steady drizzle compounding the gloom on the last day of the station's operation, as a well-patronised diesel multiple unit arrives from Glasgow Central. Witnessed by a handful of enthusiasts, the DMU passes the goods yard at the start of its 25-minute journey to Kilmacombe. Ironically, on the same day, engineering works at Paisley's Gilmore Street Station caused services to be routed through Canal Station, with a Class 27 passing at the head of a service to air. Passing the Class 27, a three-car DMU arrives from Kilmacombe, pauses briefly, and then heads towards Glasgow, as another page in Glasgow's railway history is closed.